What's up guys, go back to our video and we, we are back with, with episode of content in 2022 with, with, with the premiere of, of the release of, of, of episode 1 of uh, Moon Knight and, and to me, I, I thought this episode was like so good and definitely should have set off the, the, the vibes and, and the show is off to a, a, a great start so, so far, especially for uh, Stephen Grant and Mark Spector and from, from the way that this episode you know, the, the, the delivers, it, it, it definitely sets, sets, sets the tone for, for, for what, what we can expect to see the, the rest of the series as well, especially for uh, Mark, Mark Spector and uh, Moon Knight and, uh, and Arthur here and stuff like that. And plus, with this first episode, we definitely get, get, get to explore, you know, Stephen Grant and, and his life in uh, London. And, and plus, within this episode, there's so many cool, cool, cool stuff, like many cool, cool Easter eggs or things that they may, may miss and things like that. So, in this video, this will be my, my full breakdown of, of Moon Knight of episode 1, going over all, all the Easter eggs and things they may have missed in this episode. But if you haven't seen episode 1 of Moon Knight, this is going to be your, your spoiler warning, so click, click on this video now and come back to this video after you've seen the episode. But if you're still here and you don't care, let's get into it. So when I have episode one, so it starts with the opening shot of uh, Arthur Harrow, which we're, uh, which we're gonna see in, in the series, uh, who is now a cool leader. And from uh, what way is the way to show us what his life is like, and that way it sets a tone from what we can expect from, from his character from the, the, the rest of the series, plus and, and from, from the tattoo of, of, of his hands, and just to uh, control them. It was used for, 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 uh, for Stephen Grant as well. And then when we get to, uh, you know, it's, it's not Mark, Mark, Mark Spector, but Stephen Green, who's now living a full life in uh, London. And plus, from what, what we can tell from uh, outside his bed, he, he lays a, a, a couple of sand. And plus, he like a he like he, he puts tape on, on on his door so that no, I think no one can get, get in. I think. And plus, with uh, Stephen Grant, he shares a personality with uh, Mark Spector. And, and from what we can tell by, by his apartment, like and plus we, we, we see a goldfish that that was also on a poster that that like Marvel we recently really recently the day before. For the show, like I think it's kind of it's gonna be important for for the show, and that's why when it's an episode, it's called the Goldfish episode. I mean that like the Goldfish problem is probably with that Goldfish, and plus from what we can tell with Stephen Stephen's actually really like this sets the tone for the series. And then I I, I see uh, Stephen Grant and, and London try to catch a bus on, on his way to work. We see on like the, the, the building on, on the top left with the word says at Atlantis. I think it's like a reference or an Easter egg for for a uh, name Namor who was also gonna be coming into the MCU. And, and plus with, with them coming to the MCU for first of our project, it was like from from most likely that Easter egg for Namor. But because with, with them he's, he's now coming to uh, the, the MCU and future projects, especially for the by Pan the Wakanda forever. And then we see Stephen Grant give you a tour in the museum, especially giving that a girl a little look around the, the entire the museum, and we see the, the Great Pyramid of, of Giza. And then, and then we see the, the field of a reeds, and now what is that identical object? With this, it's like an ideal version of a what one's life on Earth, or it's also known as a Sesaka Oru, or also known as like a translated into the, the field of rushers. And then we we see Stephen probably to talk, talking to a, a, a girl who, who who was like probably or uh, asking him out or, or something like that. And then he, and she, she says like uh, already says it's still on for for, for, for seven o'clock p.m. p.m. a bet best thing in, in the town, which is a new a date, which is probably the full foreshadowing the our date maybe being can cancel at like a steak a uh, restaurant after he, he like took her down. It's his saying that like he, he, he was supposed to have a date with her like a two a, like a two two days ago on, on like a Friday, and then uh, which is probably a foreshadowing you know. A scene, it's going to happen with Stephen not having his dinner with Layla. And then, as soon as we see Stephen, as he is done with work, that we can see like he's like having some fun by the the fountain, like a statue, or that he's having fun though by by himself, or he doesn't have anyone to hang out with. Even though back in the museum, he says you know GB, even though he doesn't pay any attention to him, I think. And plus, he says you know Stephen though with 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 a V. And then plus we 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 get a sense because with 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 Stephen Grant, he's he's like I think he's like alone. Plus he he shares a soul. Is a personality with a personality made of Mark Mark Spector, and plus he's also talking to, to, to a, a statue. He's been asked to like to take like a selfie of like a, a couple, and plus this is what a life is like with a Stephen Grant when like he's like alone. 
And then I, I, I just see a Steven Grant in like a lot of places in his apartment. And at first we, we, we see a Steven in, in, in his bed, though like a play like a catch or like playing a, a Rubik's Cube. And and then we see him like through some, 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 some books. And also, as we can see in like an Egyptian book, we, we said these, these, are, these are, are, are the Egyptian gods, the, the, the gods of uh, e Egypt, and which, well, one of them is, you know, horses, and then Autumn and, and a shoe as well. And, and, and then we hear his voice saying like, hello, Welcome to this this day away. Uh, let's try my song. A puzzle, a puzzle, or a quick way, way to keep your mind awake. And plus, we, we, I think we we've we seen we, we hear this a woman though though repeat the, the, his words a, a couple of times. And then we we, we end up the, the fighting as uh, Stephen like falls down on, on, on the ground with, with like a, a bloody lip. And the, the, the next we we, we, have, we find Stephen like on, on the ground with, with like a bloody lip. Maybe he's all like busted or something. I like I like I die. Maybe he, he like fell, but because of witness, like, I think this is just like a dream or like a nightmare that like Stephen is definitely having. And then as he looks in, in his pocket, we, we see like he saw the, you know a, a scarab in, in his pocket, which is so I asked him to uh, to, to uh, surrender the the the, the, the body said like it it's in, in 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 control, and which we see behind him is definitely a con shoe. And plus, with with Stephen having a scarab and his pocket, which like later in like a scene with the other hero who was, who was, who was, who was, who was like a cold le leader, who was probably the, one, the main villain of the show, I think. And plus, with, with him, he's just going to ask uh, 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 Stephen for like uh, the, the, the scarab back, and that's why he has the, the scarab and uh, it's like his own dream. And then we get it introduced to to a Ethan Hawke's character who is Arthur Harrow, which he's probably you know, a cool leader, of course. And then he's is like surrounded by a whole group of people. And then when in this he he like brings up a few people to a give the 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 armaments power with like a stick, which it moves everything and like a tattoo of his it like moves as well. And and now with our other hero to try try to see they want to see is a what worthy enough and um um its power then that like if it passes on to to like a good a good man he he like passes that he lives and and then we see a woman try to try to see if she's worthy of what worthy of and um um its power too and and then after that that doesn't work like like she should have what worthy and then 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 like she she dies. And then we see Arthur trying to get everyone to, to kneel. And now, with, with this exact reference from the first Avengers film, for Loki as everyone to kneel as well. And, and, and then we see this is Stephen Grant and it's saying that Arthur Harold knows this is Stephen. And then this is Stephen. He tells Arthur all, all about himself, saying that he's like a this is Stephen Grant, the guy who works at the at the gift shop in, in London. And then with, with, he tells us, uh, you know, Stephen that he, he needs to get the scare back, back to him. And then we, we see like a Stephen twenty. Give this scarab back to Arthur, but, but, but by the way, that he, he like he gives it to him, and like someone prevents him from uh, do, doing so with, with the fingers locked and are froze. And, and plus, I, I see all like the, the, the men are trying to come after him after he doesn't return return, return the, the scarab. And then as they try to uh, attack him, someone like uh, tries to for, uh, force him into, into killing those uh, men himself. And plus, I think that like uh, Stephen like killed all all those men, but, or, or like someone is like to tell him so. Or this is because of you know, you know Mark Spector, or, or it's probably because because of Moon Knight, because he's like a supernatural character in the, in the MCU now. And, and now with with this is all, only the uh, beginning of like uh, with Stephen Wayne, he, he didn't even kill anyone, but but uh, Moon Moon Knight or like Mark Spector definitely made him dead. And, and, and then, uh, as you guys see, Stephen trying to escape everyone from the crowd using a, a, a cupcake baby. And we, we see uh, Stephen ending up in, in like a car chase between you know, some men. And, and then, like, what, what he says, like, he can handle, uh, control the truck, that like, he, he can drive it, or like, he doesn't have a license. And, and then we, we see a, one of, like, uh, probably it's one of Arthur's men. And then he, like, steps into you know, the truck. And then uh, Stephen, he ties him with, with, a, with a cupcake. And, and then we, we see some other guy about, about to shoot him. And then what, what ways at once. Says it's taken away from from like, baby being killed, and, and then he, he, he like he gets like, sent like by uh, by four forces, and, and, and then we, we see some of uh, flashes, and then we, we see that like his, his, his man was killed, and then with, with, with a CC, but he 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 was holding a gun like in, in his hand, where we see you know a gun in, in his hand, and thing that he, he like killed him, but it's really though a Mark Spector, and, and now with, 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 this is probably all oh, does his dream, and then he like does it again with, with a bunch of other men, it was sitting while on the car. Downhill. And then uh, as Steven sees like uh, two, two men uh, being killed by, by, by uh, logs from that log truck, that, that, uh, and that uh, we, we, we see like Steven like, uh, being awake. And, plus, and uh, with, with this, this is like probably, probably the, the, the dream 
well, well like a nightmare that died. He, he, he was having from like before, from like what what was in that field, and then that, now to be in like an ice cream truck, and then I have to be wake, wake up as well. So, so this is probably just, just a dream that like Stephen is having, but it's probably the one Mark 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 the the the, the, the mercenary that that he, he like shares is a person that not with is a is a do, doing this for him. And, and, and then we, we see Steven look, look like a goldfish, and, and see that he's, he's going like two two fins now. And then we, we see Steven like taking like a, the, the goldfish into you know, the, you know, the pet store, and, and see Steven like, a, like a, the goldfish grew you know, like two, two, two fins. And then we get a fine Nemo reference in place with, with this episode that's labeled the, the, the goldfish problem. And when it's exactly reference to a Nemo baby because he only has the one fin. And then, uh, as we see, uh, Stephen at uh, like uh, the, the the steak restaurant, he is waiting for for I think uh, you know, Dylan or uh, you know, show up. And then we we see, we see him talking on on the phone with her, saying that like he's at the steak restaurant. And then we we hear that Dylan saying that like like should she eat steak by herself uh, two, uh, two days ago? Uh, but but when he's saying that the, the Friday it comes uh, after the, the Thursday, even though it was uh, two, two days ago. Even like even like I uh, wonder if like a uh, from that dream what like. If it passed by the, you know, the days that, that like Mark Spector what, what was like awake or, or like a Stephen Grant what was like having a, that that a dream that was like, it passed by a days whether he he sees that as having a dream or, or like a nightmare and with with, his, with him having though a nightmare of probably some of the days that passed as well preventing him from like, having that a say like, dinner with, with the girl that he likes. And then as you see Stephen go going through it in his wall, and then like we can see that he got he got a couple things and like a key with a, 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 a keychain on it, and then like a cell phone as well. And, and then uh, as he's opening the door, the, the, the phone now we we can see like he has a bunch of his calls by 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 a, by, a, by a girl who, who who we probably saw like back at, at like a, the, the the museum or, or probably like, the, the girl that he was like, supposed to meet at the door with steak. And then he sees like he has a lot of uh, missed calls, and then that it and then he finally answers, and then the, the two sort of finally talking, and, and then with, with, with Stephen, he he sees that oh like like who, who is this? Oh, what, what, why did you call me Mark? And, and, and plus, with, with, with this, he shows um, like a soul, like, like he shows his personality with, with, with a Mark, 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 Mark Spencer, but with a Lee, like he just doesn't know that, that, that like it's not really Mark Mark, Mark, Mark Spencer. And, and with the, he he just says it's only the, the, the Stephen, and then with a the Lee, like he like hangs up on him. And, and now with, with, with this, like, he's not like a really Mark. Mark Spector, it's really though Stephen Grant, the guy from the, from the gift shop in London. And then, as we can see, as a Stephen is looking around his apartment, we, we, we can see a, reflect, a reflection of himself in the, 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 the mirror, and, and that, that with the marks are telling him to stop lo looking. And then he, he like runs out of his apartment and into the the the, 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 the elevator. And, and then when he finally gets onto uh, the other ground floor, with with these things that are like haunting him, and then he goes to uh, the ground floor, and then he's also a and and then when he starts to you know run into the, the elevator, and like getting getting scared, and maybe he's being haunted. Plus, probably with the war, like, like it stuff is like haunting him so so bad. And then with, with the kanju, it, it turns it into a lady, and about to interact together. And now, with, with this, now we, we can probably assume that this is probably all like, like Stephen Grant goes down, but be, be, being haunted. And plus, he, he shares his personality with, with a Mark, Mark, with a Mark Spector. And plus, he, he's trying to you know, you know, help him as, as Stephen is having the all his nightmares. And plus, with, with all this like haunting him. And then after that, we we, we find see Steven on, on like a bus, and then as he looks look, look, look side, uh, we, 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 he sees you know Kanchu again, and then then you know, it appears, and then when we finally you know, get, 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 gets off, he, he sees our our, our, our hero again, and then when him says he's saying like he, he he's real, and now maybe mean that this is probably be because uh, like Steven having all, all, all these nightmares or or, or is it dreams, but because because when 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 Steven though have having that the nightmares or probably someone's been making making to do all this, we'll be like having to wake up to our neighbors and like have like stuff around the appear and like and disappear. And, and then we see Stephen again back in the in the museum back in London. That like, we can see that that, that like, with, with the art that he he's coming that like, with, and with this like, we can we can see that the with, with his men like the, with the people that he he, he works with at the museum that like, he's a part of are are two windows that has like, tattoos probably of of Ahmed. And then as we can see, as we can see Arthur and Stephen talking that like, we get a reference of Avatar, which like, by, by, by Stephen say Avatar is 
Legends of Blue People, and this is a re reference to uh, the, the Avatar film, at which we were waiting for, for the second film to come out this year. Now the uh, Avatar is now canon to the MCU. And, and then we, we see Arthur about to tell you know, Stephen you know, you know, the truth, and then and after that he, he tells uh, like, with this like, Arthur t -t tells Stephen that that there is chaos in him, and now which it makes it makes sense that like with, with, like Stephen having the you know, chaos in him, or like maybe this like Mark Spector causing all this uh, to, to chaos inside Stephen, and with him to try, to try to kill all all those people, and with that tr tr triggering him, with all those triggers like triggering him to, to like to like, Kill all of those men, especially on the ice cream truck as well, to, to kill all our, our, those men. And, and now with this like crazy good good ending, now we we, we see uh, Stephen Steven like we're working like late late, late hours at, at, at like the, the at the museum like give give shot by scanning things, and then as like the flicker or like a light starts to go off, he starts to hear the, the voices, and then we we see it's probably a, I mean the the, the uh, Anubis that, uh, trying to uh, attack him, and this is all because because of Arthur uh, trying to get like Steven to give back the the, the scarab, and then as he's maybe being attacked by the Anubis or like the um, of course he he it goes into hiding in, in the, the, the Bathroom, and then we see a Mark trying to do the save uh, Steven, and then he says, oh, let, let me save us. And then we get a full uh, tr transmission of uh, the, uh, the Moon 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 Knight suit on uh, uh, like Steven or like a Mark, 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 Mark Spectre. And then when, when, when this episode ends with, with the final scene, it's with the, the, the uh, Amit or the uh, Numus uh, uh, attacking him. And then with, with the Moon Knight, we, we see him like punching and maybe killing the, 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 the Numus. The final, final scene with, with the last shot is with, with, with the, the, the Moon Knight suit reveal at, at the end, which is a pretty sick, sick, sick ending. I, I, I like you see. What, 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 a picture of this success tone for the rest of future episodes in the series. And yeah, and with the Mamune episode one, I, I thought that this was like a, a great episode, and it sounds like a good, good tone for like uh, the rest of, of, of the series. It's just like, I mean, I'm pretty sure like the, the show is obviously like a, a, a great start, especially uh, for, for you know, Stephen Grant and Mark Spector, and, and for Mamune and, and for Arthur Harrow uh, as well. I think will be expect more, more action, and more brutal, and more, more horror, and more so supernatural vibes, or was like Indiana Jones vibes, and, and, and it's why you know, Stephen Grant is being triggered probably by Mark, Mark Spector and trying to save him by Kelly though those of men and plus we went with him and trying to get, get the discovery the, the back and I think with, with episode one I think it sets totally it was like, I mean for me like episode one it was like a crazy good good episode and I came to see what what else is in store especially for the rest of the series as well and a few future episodes and what this sets up for the future of the MCU especially for everybody as well so yeah I really enjoyed episode one I think that it shows off to like a great, great, great start for the movie the series on, on Disney Plus and, and I came to see more what happens in episode two which is next week. So that that so that that's gonna be it for this video. Let, let, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And, and, and what, what are your thoughts on Moon Knight episode one? Give me a rating between one out of ten in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the notification bell for future videos. And you can find me on Instagram and Twitter for live updates. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.